aiming to be an interactive band of brothers. Uh, this is this is Burden of Command. Uh, there's a demo coming out very soon, which is what I have access to here. Uh, but the uh, the game comes out here early next year by Green Tree Games. So this is World War II. The the idea or the uh, I suppose like the goal of this game is to be a realistic um, a realistic close combat style of of war game. Um, they even have like historians on the dev team or something, or, or maybe they're just, I know there's a lot of, of, uh, historical accuracy is sort of like the goal here. Anyways, like war is a bad thing. Um, and they're trying to go with that kind of thing. Anyway, anyway, uh, I've gone through the tutorials. Uh, this is a very complicated thing. There's a lot of little things in the background going on behind the scenes here. And I'll do my best to, to, uh, explain what's going on. And yeah, this is sort of like from the point of view of the leaders, uh, you will, you are the leader. You're going to get these questions popping up, uh, difficult questions. How do you answer them will, de will depend how the mission goes. And the mission isn't necessarily just go in and kill everything. The mission is, you know, get a job done and get out, that kind of a thing. So anyway, this is, this is um, there may be some war things in here. Not in this demo, though. Well, there's also these little videos in here, which I don't know how YouTube feels about that, so I'm going to skip those. Uh, okay, so it's October 5th, 1944. We're in Bardenburg, near the German border. Snow is falling. The 5th Armored rush straight into German heavy fire. Uh, no artillery, no machine guns. Well, now no tanks. Do we still advance, Captain? Uh, so with, within, not every turn, but um, you're getting, we're going to get a lot of these sort of like pop-up things. And then we go into the tactical turn-based war game. Uh, and then you get little things about, historically speaking, this was not a snowy day, but we have our orders. I want to hear opinions. Turn towards my remaining officers. No, we got our orders. We're going in. Got to strike while the iron is hot, Wilson says. The man certainly is working hard amid his second world war. Both platoons move up the undercover. Side by side, we got a shot. Deeper into the woods, the better it would seem, Lieutenant Dearborn notes. Uh, he's an academy-trained Virginia Rays, and his boy voice holds a ring of certainty. If we're to make a wide-turning motion against their flank, then they must yield position. So we can go for the flank, uh, we can keep our platoons, uh, platoons together, or we can just see... We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, flank sounds like a great idea. Five tanks of the 743rd have been knocked out by direct fire. Yeah, we're going to see them on the map here. Okay, uh, flank. They'll expect that, Captain. Wilson, Wilson says, I know I would, but maybe the forest is thick enough to hide the movement. Okay, so we've got we got one mission. Mission is to get the objective. That's the job. Uh, and we get, a, we get a bonus objective if we get light casualties. So, originally it was planned, I guess, to use the Urbach Church on the western edge of the town as an OP. German shield it. So, I guess we can't. All right, so so here's here's the game. You get those little things popping up from time to time, and sometimes they even pop up like between between turns as well. Um, sort of, and, and, and as a matter of fact, we'll even probably get new objectives that'll pop up as the as the time goes on here. But anyway, these are my folks up here, the ones that have faces. Those are my commanders. I got Dearborn over there. I got Wilson and Captain Unnamed. <laughs> I think that's me. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Poor Captain Unnamed man. That guy. He had so much going for him. But no one knew who he was. <clears throat> so uh, Dearborn wants to go into the trees, and we got to flank. Our job is to get that building right there. And so in order to get it, we got to move our folks around. So each squad here has a few different things that they can do. A lot of this is focused around our commanders, which I'll show you the difference here in a second. I'll tell you this in a second, but I just heard a scream, which reminds me of a story. I went, um, I went to a... Uh, to, to, a bar today, and um, it was getting kind of late. And uh, this, my final drink of the night came out, and there was this sprig of some little season or some uh, herb was was in it. And I asked the keep barkeeper, "What's this?" He said, "It's closing time." <clears throat> so anyway, um, that is their orders. They can do things like assault, and each <laughs> each. Um, each where was I? I'm, I'm I've lost my train of thought now with a terrible joke. Um, each squad has different things that they can do, so we can assault. You can kind of see what they what they can do. A big part of this game is focused around the 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 commanders, like Dearborn here. Dearborn can do different things. He's attached to this first squad, third platoon, whatever. 
uh, he can bolster them, which gives us a morale boost. It's a big deal. It's a big deal in this game. We can we can rally them, and so we can remove suppression. You know that kind of stuff. Suppression's a big deal. Um, he can press them, which will give us an extra action point. So these little uh, pips here, all these green blips you see there, those are basically our action points. Uh, or we can like sneak sneak in. So our job is to come in, flank through the trees. We can do that. So we'll grab this guy over here. No commander on this squad. We're going to go and we're going to creep. Um, it might be a good idea to like sneak around or to uh, uh, bolster things a lot. But uh, whatever. They're going to go sneaking on in there. Um, and we're going to say and then we can do this also. So we can we can um, we can bolster for some morale. Go go shake their hands, commander. Everyone thinks that's great. Yeah, that good good job. I clicked wrong. There we go. We've bolstered them. Everything's great. We use an action point to do that. We're gonna go sneak into the woods now, which we can't go very far because the woods are uh, are uh, oops, sorry, the woods are covered in well trees, so we can only go one square into the woods. So we'll make our way as far as we can. Uh, we got Wilson up here, who I think is also gonna go. Um, it's going to go... Oh, I think we have to go click that. And then we click on Wilson. And same thing. Wilson's attached to these guys. My my squads can also do things like like uh, recon by fire. You can shoot a square next to you and maybe reveal somebody. There may be Germans in these trees. There probably are Germans in these trees. We just can't see them. They're sneaking around like I am. Um, so we have to find our way down here, really. But we may get shot in the back. Uh, let's go ahead and sneak. We can go and bolster again. We can also do... There's the rally thing, you know. Um, yeah, we'll we'll bolster. Yeah, pat them on the back. Boys. Good on you or something. So we can sneak on up there. Uh, you can see the cover. Uh, things there, half cover or whatever. Uh, we've got... Who's this? Who are you guys? You guys? Uh, yeah, you know what? Can, can, you, can you sneak? Yeah. You move up a little bit. You can't really do much. And then these guys... Let's go. Like, here's our tanks that are messed up. We can go get the high ground. Our job is to get that. So maybe we can, like, kind of surround there or something, you know? That would be sneaky. Captain Unnamed. That guy's great. I should have put Captain Unnamed with that squad. What was I doing? What am I thinking? Captain Unnamed. Can I undo? No. Uh, no. I can run away. Captain Unnamed. Get back to the house. What are you doing? That guy. No, he's getting... <laughs> no, he's... Oh, he got shot. <laughs> I did. I... Whoops. Sorry. Sorry, Captain Unnamed. Okay, so there is Overwatch. I did that. I did it on purpose to show that there is Overwatch in the game, and <laughs> I've just shown it to you. Um, our mission here. Here it is. That's what we got to do. We got to capture the objective. We got to make sure people don't die, like Captain Unnamed. Uh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I think we're good. I think that's everyone. Everyone's moved as much as they may, mostly can. We're going to pass the turn. Pass the turn. Okay. Wilson's still getting in gear. Dearborn is, in, is not in position. He hasn't made it there yet. He can't make it there because we snuck. Uh, and the Germans are still resisting. Battalion calling in. First Sergeant Grant says and offers up the handset. Artillery is up. Excellent. Excellent. Our job is to take that square right there. Um... This guy is now acting captain, which I think is because Captain Unnamed is dead. What's your name? Not you. Captain... Captain who? You're just Captain Officer. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, but you are in the squad. Do we want to just move up there? We're probably going to get shot if we go up there. What we can do... Can you do this? We have an artillery. We can call for artillery. We've got... They're off the map. We can smoke some places. We can, we can send the stuff in. We can't see this, so we can't actually send it in there. We can't mark it or whatever. Um, but what we could do is we could throw some smoke. Let's throw some smoke down, like right there. Smoke underway. Excellent. Uh, can we sneak, like, into these woods? Agony. Blood. Your blood. Yeah, it's Captain Unnamed. Medic First Sergeant Grant calls out as darkness begins to gather. Captain's down! So, this, this is a... Um, I'm going to say this is a big part of the game. You're going to have a lot of this, these kind of questions coming up. What do you do? Do you just continue the attack? Captain's going to die. Uh, permadeath is a thing. People are going to die throughout the campaign. Or do we say we got to get a medic? Pause the attack. Even chance for the captain to survive. Demo ends. Well, we want to keep playing, so... Oh, wait. Each one ends? Oh, both of them said demo ended. Maybe it goes until the demo. I don't know. I don't know. Um... 
Anyway, we're going to smoke there. We're going to go save our captain. We're going we're gonna to wait for the smoke, and then we're going to go over this way. We're going to send this guy, Wilson, here. He's going to keep on sneaking. Sneaking. Oh, did you find... No, no, no. Good, 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 good. Uh, you know what? While you're there, Wilson, can you pat somebody on the back? Can you do maybe... Um, maybe Maybe we need a little morale. Pat him on the back. There we go. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, Dearborn. Oh, you're done. Dearborn over here. He's going to keep on sneaking in. There we go. Good. Good. And then this guy is going to keep on sneaking in as well. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Next turn. Nice and quiet. Snow. Mud. The enemy. The usual. Attack continues despite its German resistance. Okay, so now we got smoke coming in. There it is. They're, they're not like they're not they're not the best at shooting at their, their hexes. So far, they they've gotten it each time, but they're not always right on target. So don't if you send in the artillery, don't stand in the square next to it because it could end poorly. Uh, we're gonna go and move this fella, new dude, um, up here. Objective secure. Minor victory. Uh, so now that we're here, we can send in... Buddy, I'm going to send in the real stuff. Right on that target right there. Is there somebody there? Yeah, with, of, course, of course there's someone there. We, they shot and they killed Captain Unnamed. So we're going to we're gonna blast him. Bring in the heat. Okay. So our job is to take that, which we won't be able to take with this few turns as we have left to right. Um... Let's move. Do we want to sneak? We can sneak up. Let's go here, and we're just gonna we're gonna rush it. A messenger from Wilson's platoon hurries over to your command post. Captain, the busted up tanks. Wilson says they're still wounded in them. He blurts out. Uh, yeah, what you got? A messenger lays it all out for you. As expected, it isn't pretty. The wounded are dying, but the fight isn't over. So now here's another one of these things. Probably a better a better example. Um, so we could ignore the wounded. Continue the attack. We could plan to rescue. We add an extra objective to save the men. Or we say uh, the squad's going to suffer heavy suppression. Some positive morale effects are we going to unlock later on. No, no, we're going to we're rescuing them. We're getting them. We're getting them. Yeah. Uh, asking a man to step in the line of fire for a guy he doesn't know. They'll try up. Uh, they'll try if you give the order, Captain. Okay, so he's gotta, we got to get over there and save that guy. Um, he already gave his order, so he is done. Uh, I think we're, we're acting, we're doing this group right now. My smoke is not doing a very good job. My smoke is doing a bad job. Okay. Yeah. I didn't die. Okay. Uh, can we just, can we just get moving? We can really only move one square in these. These trees are thick. Um, I'm going to keep sneaking though because I played through this before and there was a lot of Germans in these trees. There was a lot of Germans in these trees. I'm kind of worried about it. We have to hold that. I don't... There might be one, like... Could there, be, there could be one right over, right over here. That's okay. Okay. Um, you're done. We could do a press. So press is a thing. I haven't really gone over these these abilities that we have. Um, we saw what Bolster did. Bolster's a morale-boosting thing. Rally is still the same kind of thing. Removing suppression, that kind of stuff. Uh, which they may need here. Um, a press will basically give us an additional action point, but you can only do it once or so. Um, a limited limited action kind of thing. Hey, Joe Bird, how's it going? A screaming shriek fills the air and sends a corkscrew of terror up your spine. Incoming. That seems like a... That seems bad. Oh, hey, that was a good one. But that was mine. That was mine, wasn't it? Okay. We got folks coming in. Okay, I want to see if I can get you. Can I get you over here? What if I? What if we we uh, we press? Press, and then can you move? I think I think we can't move because because we are we got to rest. We got to rest with a tired bef before we move. Can we move over here? Needs one order. Got zero orders. We can't actually do it. He can come out. Seems like it might be a bad idea. Can't be pressed again. Makes you tired. Need to be rested before it can be pressed again. Captain Leader may press adjacent units. Um, 
Let's try it on this guy. Let me see if we can get in the, onto that onto that hill. We're in real deep. I can't really get over there. Well, we can run. It says we got cover here, but not there. So let's go here. Keep up. We can step up here. Let's go rescue the tankers. We got to run to that spot. We're, let's go get these tankers. Risk of exposed fire. We're fine. Secondary objective complete. Positive events unlocked. As planned, your men move past the burning Shermans and reach the wounded soldiers. After a long minute in the open, exposed on two sides, they secure the wounded. Hooray! But they're gonna get shot at. Undaunted. That's right. That's right. Okay. Now, I haven't fired a shot yet. We should fire a shot. These guys are upstairs on the hill. So all you do is basically just right click. And we can shoot. And we can see they, like... I've tried reading this for a while. And I'm, I'm, I have not quite figured out what it all means. But I kind of can make, make an idea of it out. Basically, this is not good for us. Good for them, not good for us. Um, there's smoke in the way. We apparently are, are on the lower ground than them. Our morale's a little bad. Uh, they have cover. Um, and so they got a lot of green because they have the advantage, basically. So we will probably be not a good spot. Um, so I think what I want to do... Can I send in another? I can't send another one of these in. Um, we can rest. Let's take a shot. Just to show it off. So they win the initiative. They get to shoot first. But we are undaunted. Like shooting rabbits. Who, who's the rabbit? Are we the rabbit or are they the rabbit? So there's some shooting going on. Just to show that off. Flanked from who? You guys are kind of stuck. Uh, can we, like, get moving? We don't want to fire way to victory. Ah, oh, see, there's Germans in those trees. I knew there was Germans in those trees. Like shooting rabbits. We're gonna. Oh man, it got us good. We we want to run away. Don't run away. No no no. We need uh captain, lieutenant, whoever you are. I need a. We need a. Um. We need a rally. Yeah. Stand firm. Stand firm. And you don't have action points left, so you ain't gonna be shooting anybody. But I, you stand firm. Uh, who's, oh, he's leading the round. Right, 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 right. Okay, so again, it's all kind of focused around your leader and his squad and all that. More rockets. Germans are not holding back. Radio crackles. Wilson and Dearborn compete for bandwidth, but you already know what they're going to say. If we push, they might hit us before we can brace. First Sergeant Grant says aloud because someone has to. But if we fall back into the forest, then we'll just have to do this all again tomorrow. Uh, it's a bad deal either, either way, but thank God we already rescued the tankers. What's the deal? What's the call? Captain, so we can. Wilson says we we regroup. Dearborn wants to attack. Take my last breath and order an assault in the demo. Take my last breath and order a withdrawal. Um. Let's, uh, let's attack. Dearborn is always planning something. And it's if a specific plan doesn't succeed, well, he's got another one already. If the enemy will be over, will overstand themselves soon enough, if we remove her to force the issue. He declares casually as explosions boom. For they all must succeed quickly or not at all. Um, order the assault. I'm not, I'm not sure which one. It's the last one said end of the day. Just do it. Order is passed. The men take cover and dig in. The enemy advances. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. That's it. So we got... So, yeah, it, it's like... Your missions aren't necessarily aren't, aren't at least for this first these few missions that I've done. They're not like subtly defined. The missions are maybe changing as you play the game. It's interesting, uh, but we won a major victory because we didn't lose very many casualties. We just lost unnamed. We didn't care about him, uh, and we got a minor victory in the mission because we we got the points. We said we rescued the tankers, but we didn't take the main point. And uh, oh, Captain Unnamed is coming back. Excellent. I never smoked before. Excellent. Captain Unnamed. Your men may live or die because of your order. That is the burden of command. Thanks for playing the demo. So there's another scenario over here as well, um, which is the sacred ground one. Um, I'm not sure if, like, I'm assuming it's all going to go kind of like a linear kind of thing or maybe maybe branch out from depend, depending on decisions. Um, but yeah, um, there's a lot going on. It's, it's judging by the tutorial, it's a complicated thing. As you kind of saw there, 
but um, there it is. It comes out here um, on next year, beginning of next year. I don't the demo. I'm trying to remember when they sent me the email. I think they. I don't think they said specifically the demo was coming out immediately, but I think they said soon there was supposed to be a demo. Don't don't quote me on that. But anyway, there's a demo coming sometime. Good old Captain Unnamed. He never ordered his men to take a risk. He didn't already take himself. That's right. He ran out of the building. He went running back. You know what? I don't know if Captain Unnamed really had his heart in it. He's out just running around. <laughs>